If new games get more demanding because of resources, does that mean we will need 12 cores, 24 thread CPUs in order to play games, including all of the overhead? In the next five years, yes. I totally believe that within the next five years, there'll be at least one game that will have a noticeable difference between 12 and eight cores. Not all, probably not even most, but they'll start to happen. Well. If you want a five-year CPU, a Ryzen 9 makes a lot of sense. This whole idea that we went from four cores to six cores and that's it, it's gonna be the next five plus years of six cores. Okay, you can disagree with me. Um, somebody commented, I think Ranger Smith actually said that uh, Hardware Unboxed would disagree with me on this. It's okay to disagree. You know what, we can still be friends and disagree. Correct. Especially when we're talking about the future. I mean, we are all guessing to some extent. There's no need to argue about this. Correct. We can disagree without being disagreeable. Correct. Or an ass. Civilized. Yeah. Imagine that. Pardon me. Would you pass the gray poupon? <laughs> anyway. It's two hours. Um, so this idea that we went from four cores to six cores and we're going to stop at six cores is ludicrous. The new consoles have eight. Don't be shocked if a refresh of the consoles comes in three years with more than eight cores. I don't think that these consoles are going to last as long as previous generations, but they won't be obsolete either. We, I think we've ended the era of a new console every seven years and nothing for seven years. Well, yeah, it's... We kind of had it with the Xbox... One S and Xbox One S and the PS4 and PS4 Pro, but now we have the Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X launching at different performance levels at launch, but running the same games. And I think we'll see refreshes of those in two years. And I think every two years, Microsoft will just start refreshing the Xbox as a cheap gaming platform, and it will progressively get better over time. We went from one core for a very long time to two cores to four cores without even blinking. We did. The two core era did not last very long in terms of being new and, you know, about 2005, the two cores came out. Four cores came out 2007. By 2009, four cores were normal. Yes. It was a very quick transition. And now we skipped over six going to eight. Six cores is the new two cores. Yeah. When we get to 5 nanometer next year, and AMD goes above 16 cores on AM5, 6 is going to be a joke. Mark my words. That's my prediction. We'll find out in two years, year and a half, how accurate I am. Yeah. I think that we're going to start seeing 8 core chips, new, under $200. And that's, six cores will probably become what the i3 and Ryzen 3 is today. Exactly, yeah. Four, um, four co cores won't even, yeah. Well, they'll be like. We'll be OEM or it'll be. They'll be like the $65 chips yeah. are today. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because AMD has like the Athlon 200G with two cores and four threads. That's kind of dumb now. 